Hello everybody and welcome. So I've, I've talked about, I think I only talked about like once or twice. I talked about doing a, a tier list. I've talked about it outside of like my videos or streams, but uh, I never really got around to doing it. So, um, you know, I thought like, oh, I could do some Pokemon ones or something. Uh, but I never, again, never got around to doing it. So I'm just going to do it now just so I can do it. <laughs> As you can see right here, we got tier list. We got it open at uh, tiermaker.com or whatever. Uh, they already got a Genshin Impact one made, so I'm just gonna go ahead and do this one. Uh, this is more like my own personal, like I like this healer or I like this DPS or whatever. But uh, just to keep it like short and simple, um, I'm not gonna go over every character. I'm just doing the healers right now. Um, and it's more just like which healer I like the best, uh, or which healer I think works the best or is more fun for me to use, or I think is more beneficial. You might rank them somewhere else. That's fine. You know, I'm just putting them where I, where I use them, where I, if I think they're good or, or whether I think they're fun to use or whatever. So what I'm going to start off doing is I'm just going to go ahead. I'm just going to take the healers out just so I can get them out. Uh, let me, Barbara. Who else is a healer? Diona is a healer. Jean's a healer. Are there any other healers? Technically, he can be a healer uh, because his like, like little rain screen, whatever uh, swords or whatever, um, they can heal you for um, what is it? Six percent of his max HP per whatever. Or at least as as far as I've leveled him up, I think it said six percent of his max HP per blade and you can have like four of them so that's like 24 of course you could level it up and get more technically you could say he's a healer you know what no you know it, it, he can technically heal but that's the technicality i'm taking him out <laughs> so uh right here we have um bennett chi chi noel barbara diona and Jean. And they're all in the right cat. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So from here, we're going to go ahead and I guess we're going to start here. So when it comes to healing, um, I do think Bennett is a good healer. Uh, me personally, I just don't use him. Um, I just, I just don't use him, but he's a healer that offers support capabilities. And I consider healer and support two separate roles because you could easily like, oh, Sucrose, she's a support. And it's like, yeah, she's a support, but can she heal? No. So she's not a healer. So support and healer are two different categories. So really, or, or two different roles. So really there's four different roles. There's DPS, tank, support, and healer. Not just t DPS, tank, and healer because, or DPS, tank, and support, whatever combination you want to pick. T uh, healer and support are not the same role. It can easily be disproven by that. You could say Lisa, she can be a support. Is she a support? Yeah. Uh, or she can also be a DPS if you build her that way, but really anyone can. But it's like, is she a support? Yeah. Is she a healer? No. So then there you go. There's another example of healer and support being two different things. So when it comes to the healers, um, I'm more going from a solo player perspective um, and like their overall healing capabilities and like what I like about them, like what they can do while they're healing. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just factor that in. Uh, Bennett. One of the things when it comes to him being a healer on your team, one of the benefits is he can get his elemental burst up really quickly. He can get his elemental burst up really quickly and that allows you to use his healing ability a lot more often, a lot more frequently. Also, while his healing ability is up, you can still get energy so that you can get his healing ability back again. So I'd say for like a solo player, I think he's decent. I say decent because when you use his ability, like when you're in single player, he can only heal whoever is currently out on the field. He cannot heal his entire team at the same time. He can only heal one character at a time. So if you need to heal up your entire team, that's gonna be kind of difficult to do because you have to like leave, you have to swap to a character. You have to leave that character out until they get healed up to 70% and then swap to another character in order to get that character to start getting some heals. And usually by that time, the field's already up. If you're playing co-op where you're playing with other people, then yeah, he's, I, I think he's very good. But if you're talking single player in his, in his heal capabilities, I don't know. I, I really, I guess you could say the healing itself would probably put him at C tier because he can only heal one character at a time as in whatever character is out on the field. Uh, but I leave him at B because of how quickly he can get his elemental burst back up. So next up we have Chi Chi. 
Now, um, visually, I like the way her elemental burst looks, how it just shoots like this little blizzard. It's just like, pfft, like <laughs> it's just this big, like, like little ice snow AOE explosion. I think it looks really cool. Again, she runs into the same problem that Bennett does where she can only heal the character that is currently out on the field. Uh, her elemental skill does both ways. If you just use her elemental skill to get that little orb to circle around you, then that only heals the current character that is out on the field. But if you leave Chi Chi out on the field and you attack with Chi Chi, then you can heal your entire team. Now, I do like that her healing does scale off of attack because then you can kind of scale her for attack so that you're not completely losing out on damage. But I, I i just don't find it very viable i, I don't find her as a, like a viable dps so using her as dps in order to get healing out i don't know to me that doesn't really work very well but uh she can heal honestly any of these characters can heal now noel you are going to see some bias here oh my goodness it did it there we go oh no it was loading <laughs> whoa how'd that happen Let's put Jean back there. Oh, okay. Now, Noel, you are going to see a lot of bias here. I'll admit to it. I'm not going to pretend it doesn't exist. You're going to see a lot of bias here. I like Noel. I think, I think she's honestly, I think she is the best character in the game. This is kind of now turning into like, do I think she's a good character? Do I think these are good characters? I think she's the best character in the game because she fulfills all four roles. She can be DPS, healer, tank, and support all at the same time. No other character in the game can do all four of those roles at the same time and be effective at it. You know, that's, 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 there you go. So Noel, uh, let's put her at A tier. You know what? Let's put her at S tier and kind of work her down. <laughs> it's like I said, you're going to see some bias here. We'll put her at S tier. And, and work her way down because like, like Bennett I talked about how like he can heal but he also also offers support as well she offers support healing tankiness and DPS all at the same time so if you ever need to swap to her for healing you really aren't losing out on anything like if you're like oh I'm not really losing out on DPS because she hits hard as well you know use her shield use her elemental burst combine both of those she has a hundred percent heal chance massive aoe it's like a duration thing so she can keep hitting you can spin attack and get a bunch of healing out uh one of the other things is her entire kit scales off of defense so you're not losing out on anything by making a defense build you're not losing out on healing you're not losing out on tankiness you're not losing out on damage you're not losing out on the support capabilities you're not losing out on that so when it comes to her healing, she has like a 20 something second cooldown. I think that's similar to Chi Chi. Uh, it's similar to Chi Chi. She has like a 20 something second. But the thing is, is when you level her up every four hits, she removes a second off the off, off that countdown. So that's good. That means that she can heal far more often when she is healing. She's completely protected by a barrier, you know, like Chi Chi, you use Chi Chi uh, to heal. She creates that little orb that circles around her. She has to go up and manually hit targets in order to heal them with her elemental skill. And because she doesn't have a barrier or at least even a strong barrier, she has to dodge attacks. She has to worry about getting hit. Noel, you can literally just swap to Noel. Even if even if your entire team's about to die, you can swap to Noel, pop off her or pop off her barrier. And, you know, you don't have to worry about getting hit because she has a super powerful barrier and because it scales off of defense, it's even more powerful. And then she can freely heal without having to worry about getting attacked herself. So as a healer, I think she's very good. I think she's a very good healer. Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's bring that in. Let's bring the healing bonus set into this. Even with Noel, you don't need the healing bonus set in order to do a massive amount of healing. Like I heal for like over a thousand damage or I, I, a thousand health. I heal a thousand health. Like every time I hit, I heal over a thousand health every time I hit where like other characters heal for like less than that, you know, per hit. And I'm just like, man, she can pump out a bunch of healing, you know, 14 hits, 14 hits. That's 14 thousand health restored and that's easy to do with like a charge attack because a charge attack does like 10 or 12 hits i forgot i forgot which one it was honestly you're gonna hear me rant about why she's the best i'm putting her at s tier <laughs> i told you it was gonna be biased but i think she's a very very good healer you know i might i might move everyone up i might move everyone up a stage because c does seem kind of bad i feel like i could put her at b tier because i don't feel like she's c tier healing but then that kind of competes her with 
Bennett. You know what? Actually, if you combine both her elemental skill and burst, she can be just as good as Bennett for healing. Bennett only got his elemental burst. So, you know what? That's fine. We'll do that. Now, Barbara. <laughs> I just I just don't like Barbara. I don't like her as a healer. I don't use her. I rare mm, I, I see her. I see her somewhere often. Um, I think it's more like people just don't have the other healers because she's a free healer, right? So of course you're gonna see a free healer sometimes more, but I usually see more Bennett's uh and Chi Chi than I do Barbara. Jean, I don't see much anymore. Diona is kind of more like, like a unique one because again, you could you could only get her during the what, what was it with was it, was it the, the child barrier or no yeah bar barrier. It was like the child banner and then they later like then they more recently added her to like the standard banner. I don't think a lot of people have her or if they do they just don't have her built so not a lot of people are using her. But uh. I, we're not we're talking about barbara now i kind of forgot because she she's all the way back here barbara i'll put barbara at c tier i don't like barbara as a character i feel like if you have her on your team really the only time people have barbara on their team is just to use that what is it that book of the dragon slayers or whatever whatever that book is that if you swap to Barbara and she has the book and then you swap to the next character, that next character gets a 40% attack buff. So really, no one's really using Barbara. I think she's probably one of the least used healers, at least in my opinion, from what I've seen, because I do like a lot of co-op domains and I rarely ever see her, you know, I rarely ever see her. I guess you could say I rarely see Noel as well, but you know, Noel is good regardless of what regardless of what role she's in she's good that's why i think she's the best character in the game because she can fulfill all four roles and be very she can exceed at each of them and you can get her to where like she swings and does like 20 something thousand damage per swing with her elemental burst that's ridiculous barbara i just i i just don't i don't <laughs> you know uh you go over to the um uh you go to the dragon spire region you, you try to use her as your healer. You're going to freeze her or freeze whatever character you have there. She freezes her team. You know, that <laughs> she's, she's, I don't know. That's not good. Um, her elemental burst. I think that's nice. I think it's nice that, um, she also gets energy passively based on one of her, is that one of her talents or is that a constellation though? You know, she can be a very good healer. She can be, but I just, I just don't feel like you're getting much use. Like if you have to swap to her to start healing, that's not good. Especially if your team's about to die and you don't have elemental burst up. I really don't feel like she can do much of anything. You know, you can swap to her, use her elemental skill and she'll probably die. <laughs> and then there goes your healing. I don't know. Her elemental burst. I do think that's nice, but I think there are much better elemental burst out there. Uh, Diona, Diona, um, now again like i said i don't think a lot of people have diona i just got her recently so i can't speak too much on 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 her abilities um i think i got her to like level 40 or something you know and then you know i have to get ascension materials i have to get uh you know the the skill books in order to level her up so i don't know and i'm kind of saving up skill books for like you know future banner characters and stuff but um, Diona, I think she does pretty well. Um, I think she does pretty well. I like her elemental burst. I like that it's an AOE that does damage over time. It does cryo damage over time to the enemies that are inside of it. Also, if you stand inside of it, uh, it does some pretty good healing. Even at like level 40, I had her at like level 40 and she was healing for like, um, I think I had her healing for like 2000 HP per, you know, per tick that's good and especially at like level 40 i think that that's very good you just you know use her elemental burst stand in the aoe there you go i i think it's i think it's good if, if we're talking healer <laughs> uh because and again i don't know you know the extent of her skills so we'll give her you know a little extra raise when it comes to healing abilities uh you know what i i've completely forgot to talk about I talked about with uh, Bennett, how he could only heal the character that's out, how Chi Chi, she could only heal the character that's out on the field, unless she uses her elemental skill and she's manually attacking, then she can heal the team. Uh, I guess that could be a reason why she's at B tier. Actually, you know what? Diona might also 
I, I feel like everyone's just gonna be B tier except Noel. I feel like that's just that's how biased it's gonna be. Uh, but like I just don't use under other healers. I just don't like I tried to use them, but they just don't seem to do as good as Noel. So I guess that's that's where my bias comes from. But you know, we'll put her at A tier. <laughs> now Jean. Uh, Jean, her only healing ability. I'm putting her here for right now. Her only healing ability. You know, actually, I guess she's up here. Her only heal ability is her elemental burst. But if you level her up, and this is not tied to a constellation, which is, you know, why I put her at A tier. This is not tied to a constellation. This is tied to a level up talent. She gets a passive ability where her normal attacks have a 50% chance to heal your entire team for a percentage of her attack. And that and that's a permanent passive once you get her to what is it level 60 or something? I don't know. Uh, that's a permanent passive. That is a permanent passive. And it, it has no cooldown time. It's not like this this effect can only occur once every five seconds. No, it's it's up, it's a hundred percent uptime. It's up all the time. And uh from what it seems like when I've used her, it seems like if there's let's say that there's two enemies in front of you and you swing with her sword and hit both of them with a normal attack it's a 50% chance to heal per enemy hit. So technically you could swing and hit two enemies and heal twice. Like, like, like you can swing once to hit two enemies and heal and heal twice. You know, I, I think that that's very good because then that means it's basically, it's basically like, like Chi Chi's elemental skill of Chi Chi swinging, except hers is a percent chance, but it's up all the time while Chi Chi has the cooldown. So that alone having that passive makes her a very good healer. Her elemental burst, you know, I might actually put her at S tier when it comes to healing because her elemental burst, it has an initial heal, right? Let's put her at S tier. Uh, it has an initial heal, you know, just like, like when Barbara uses her elemental burst, it heals your team, but then it also heals over time and it's very rapid, but it also heals your entire team. If you're playing solo, you, it, whatever, whatever character you have out in the field, it does not matter because your entire team, you look up at the top, all four of your characters are gonna be getting healing. That's very beneficial. You know, that is very beneficial. I would say that makes her a very good healer. So um, for me, I just think this is kind of where I think the healers kind of lie. Noelle can heal the entire team. If she pops up her barrier, she can heal the entire team. She can heal the entire team. Chi Chi can heal the entire team, but that's only with her elemental skill. And that's if she stays out on the field to start hitting enemies. Bennett can only heal one person at a time. I believe Diona can only heal one person at a time. But again, I don't know the extent of, you know, her abilities because I don't use her that much. I would like to use her. Uh, that's why I'm kind of saving up some materials until like, you know, I start getting future banner characters leveled up and I do want to, you know, try using her Barbara. I just think she's probably the worst healer. You know, she can definitely heal. Like I said, any character on this list can heal. They can heal a massive amount. If you build them to do so, they can do that. You know, that's, that's great. That's awesome. Um, I'm just thinking more usefulness on the team. I guess it's more like priority of like, if you are going to have a healer on your team, I think this is the priority, you know, and that, and if, if you're thinking a healer on your team, again, I've, I've said, I've changed this multiple times. He does offer some support as well. So you could put him up here at a tier as well. Um, so maybe, you know what, put Ben at a tier, put Ben at a tier. I can't click and do that right now. Oh, I can do it. I thought the, I thought the website crashed. Never mind. <laughs> so let, let's just do it like this. So S tier, Noel, Jean, a tier, Chi Chi, Bennett, B tier, Diona. For now, uh, if I could put, you know, her halfway between A tier and B tier, if I could do halvesies, I would do halvesies. Um, and then Barbara, I just, no, I mean, at least she's not D tier. Now, again, you may disagree with this. That's fine. This is just my own personal opinion. Uh, on you know who I find effective to have on your team as like a solo player because if these are the healers you can say oh yeah she does heal but that doesn't mean she's the best option I, I think if you're doing solo play and you have one healer on your team if you're picking Barbara I think you have much better options available I think this is the final I think this is it this is it so S tier Noel Jean A tier Bennett and Chi Chi B tier Diona C tier Barbara. I was just quickly looking to see if there are any other healers. 
Oh, you know what? If I'm going effectiveness on your team, then I can... <laughs> I could put Book Boy at D tier. <laughs> so uh, we'll just leave it at this because technically he can heal. I just don't think he... If you're using him as your healer, I, I don't know why you would use him as your healer. Uh, unless he's like, unless he is your main DPS, then sure, go for it. Cause he's your main DPS, have him on your team. He can heal, you he could do whatever, but it only heals the character that's, you know, on the field. But th that's why he's D tier or F tier or whatever as a healer. I don't know. This is just my first, you know, tier list type thing. I just thought I'd start off with something a little more simpler and, and then I kind of complicated it. I feel like I did, but, um, I feel like it, the, the objective changed multiple times during it, but you know what? That's fine. So, uh, I'll go ahead and leave this here and I will see you guys next time. Bye everyone.